Hi everybody, this is a video from our sixth AutoCAD class and today we're going to learn how to draw a section. So to draw this section, I'm going to show you the fast way to draw it first. It's kind of complicated, not really, but kind of. I'll show you the fast way to draw it and um, hopefully it works out for you. First of all, the section line I want, I want your basement to be pretty much complete. As complete as you can possibly get it, the more information you have the better. I want to offset this, let's see, offset. I want to offset 13 foot 4. I want to offset this line right here. So I'll take that and offset it down. This is going to be my section line. I use 13 foot 4 as a random number because it cuts through these, these pad footings and looks toward the stair. So I think it's just a good number. I'm going to click on this line and have the grips come up. When these grips come up, I can now, we know that I can grab the center of the grip and move this line around if I want. Well, you can also grab the end of the grip and just stretch it. So if I move it that way and type in 36, I, it'll move that way 36 inches or three feet. I can do the same thing going that way. Type in 36 and there it is. It extends 36 inches. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I can also draw a line. Just go to that end and draw one there going up 36 inches straight up. And then I can just copy that line over to the other side. So what that's, what that's showing me is that the section line is right there. I'm just going to match the properties there. The section line is in this spot looking this way. This would be called section one. So what I want to do is I want to copy everything that this section line is cutting through. So I'm just going to select the copy command. I'm going to select the footing in the foundation wall. Uh, all of these pad footings. And that side of the footing and foundation wall. We'll deal with this door and all these doors in just a little bit. So I'm going to copy all those straight up. So copy them just anywhere straight up. Now what I want to do is I want to draw a horizontal line in here somewhere. Just to give me some sort of horizontal line. I'm just going to draw it right about there, go through those pad footings. Now what this is going to be is, I'll call this the top of my footing. The top of my footing will be this horizontal line. So from the, from the top of my footing to the top of the foundation is 8 feet. So if I offset this line, 8 feet, that will be the top of my foundation. So I, I can trim everything above that line. Now this is the top of my footing again. So the bottom of my footing is 8 inches because I told you my footing is 24 by 8. So I'm going to offset this line 8 inches down. Select 8 and move that down. That's going to be the bottom of my footing. So now I can go here and again trim up all these lines. So all this stuff is trimmed up. Well, these dashed lines in my, in my plan down here represent the edges of the footings. All these, all these dashed lines, the hidden lines, represent the edges of footings. So I'm just going to trim all of these lines up and see how that looks. You know what you need to do first? I'm going to trim up the foundation wall. This here is my 8 inch foundation, half inch air gap, and a 3.5 inch framed wall. None of that exists below the top of the footing, so I'm going to trim all that right there. And I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. So again, this is the top of my footing. None of this foundation stuff exists below the top of my footing. Um, this is the edge of my footing here, so my, I know my, nothing will go past that, so nothing goes past the footing this direction, and also these dashes, I don't need them above the top of the footing line either, so I'll trim those up like this. There, this is getting pretty close to showing me what my footings are going to look like. These are all my pad footings in the middle, so I can just trim all these up too. Nothing will go past the bottom of there, nothing will go past the top of the footing. Oops. Nothing goes past the bottom of the footing. Nothing goes past the top of the footing. But all I need to do now is trim up these lines in between the footings. Oops, that thing popped up. And then this is looking pretty good. I deleted a couple too many lines there. I trimmed up too much, but I think you can see what I'm doing. Uh, these dashed lines do not appear above the top of the footing either. And there we go. So uh, I'm also going to trim up this horizontal line that I made there because it will not extend past the edge of the house. So this is pretty much my section. Um, the reason I copied all those lines up is because these walls look exactly the same in plan that they do in section. We're just looking at them from a vertical orientation instead of looking down from above. So they look exactly the same. Uh, I also need my slab. So I'm going to offset my, this is the top of my footing again, this line right here. So I'm going to offset, my slab is three inches thick, so I'm going to offset three inches. And then go up and then trim this line. The slab goes right to the edge of the 8-inch foundation wall. So it should look like that. Same thing on the other side. 
So that wood wall there, this three and a half inch insulation wall sits on top of the slab. Now we've got all our exterior stuff. Now we need to go and get this interior stuff. So this is my line. This is where I'm standing looking toward the stair. We're not going to draw the stairs because we don't know the heights of the risers. We'll figure that out uh, next week. But I can see the edge of, I should, first of all, I can see this post that's looking in the distance. I can see the edge of that wall. I can see this door. So I'll just copy those door jams. I can see the walls in the stair, that door right there. And I'm actually cutting through this door. That's everything that I'll see. I'm going to copy all of those lines straight up. So make sure it's going straight up. Now I'm going to extend all of them from underside of floor joist to the top of the slab. Just extend everything. We'll do something with them later. There, just do a mass extend. Oops, I extended a lot. And then I'll just trim those back up. Don't know why they extended so high. So these red things are my doors. My door heights are gonna be six foot eight. So I'm telling you that number. So if I just offset the slab, six foot eight from top of slab, it'll take me to there. That's gonna be my door heights. So I can just select that, select those doors. There's my door heights. Put them on this whatever layer that is for now. You guys can fix up your layers later. You know how to do that. So this is going to be the wall I'm cutting through. So again, this will be a door in this spot. So I'm just going to extend the six foot eight line through this door. Because I need that thing. These lines in the background are going to be a little bit lighter. Oopsie. What did I do? These lines in the... Well, let me trim that up again. Good. These lines are going to be in the background and I'm actually cutting through these ones so I can just trim those up and redraw them as a lighter line so they'll be on something like 005 other or something like that. So those will actually be a separate line. That's kind of getting a little bit picky but this is the door I'm cutting through. There is my one of the doors I'm looking in. There's my stair, my other door and, the, and that wall. Uh, this is going to be my post so I can just draw Let's see how I can draw that line. It's a three inch post. I can just offset it an inch and a half each way. That will give me a three inch post. And I'll trim that. And erase that center line. Great. That should be your section there. Yeah, I've got a couple more things to do. At the end of the day, your section should look just like this. So you do need two by four ladder sill up top there. Um, but this is kind of all I expect and put the little word stair location in there and you should be good to go. You can see this one. I forgot to put that post in. Um, hopefully this helps. Hopefully everything's going well for the submission on Friday. And uh, if you need any help, be sure to let me know. Hasta luego.